All right, so back to the archives. Because, yes. All right, so uh, getting into it. So, like I said before, this game is going down on May 10th. So what I'm here to do is basically just <laughs> try to co try to convince people that this this uh this hentai game totally has a good story. Although, like I said in the last video, I should probably stop saying that because it's more like this character has a good story. But now I'm just gonna stick with what I got. So today we're covering uh, her mancha, I think is how you pronounce the name. You know, not not a bad looking bitch. She looks pretty good. I mean, I haven't read her, her backstory yet, but I, I could already see some uh uh some very very well placed character development no no nah. <laughs> but also uh, let's get straight into it so character story so ever since her mo her mancha eliger was able to talk she knew how to boss her servants around as a result no one liked her not a single soul born into nobility her mancha used her family's wealth and power to open up an opulent antique shop the ass kickers that surrounded her mancha are constantly bragging about how, how her mancha started from scratch and built her own business. They love to gloat about how she is a prodigy and much more capable than anyone else. Everyone knows that her mancha was able to achieve her success today solely because she is an eliger. When her mancha was 18, she met Yu Ubisona at a ball, who was also a noble. This is the first time her mancha found herself not the center of attention. And the first time she met someone that didn't that didn't bend over backwards to please her. Ever since, Ubusama became a constant thorn in her mancha's side. Her mancha went out of her way to make things difficult for Ubisana. I'm, I'm, I'm pronouncing the name in different ways, holy shit. She even went as far as to hire hit, hitmen, bribe merchants, villagers, and even Judge Bambi to set up Ubis Ubisona and ruin her family. When the Charred Kingdom was invaded by monsters, her mancha was able to use her substantial wealth to successfully fall back to Birdus Harbor with Bambi. Yet, even with all the wealth in the world, it wasn't possible to secure a boat to leave the harbor during times of war. Her mancha was forced to stay in a portside village and live under the protection of Amit, who had become a local leader. It was here that her mancha and Bambi met Natria. The three instantly became as thick as thieves and now plot secretly in the shadows. All right, so surprisingly, for being someone who's a spoiled little brat, uh, it seems like she's she got quite a bit of like a uh, dialogue written for her or um, story information written about her. So I mean, I'm a little cliche, spoiled little rich girl, but I mean, since she is a playable unit, I'm assuming that she can fight. So there's that in a gameplay perspective. <laughs> so and they keep mentioning like I guess her last name, which is pretty cool. I mean, most characters don't actually have a last name in this game. So we can see she's an elegant. And so what I'm seeing is this is supposed to be like a pretty like, I guess like a pretty up there like noble house, like some kind of like high up nobility or some shit. So that's pretty cool. And um, yeah, at, at the bottom two was mentioning the the other characters, which were Natria and Bambi. Uh, I've seen them both. Uh, not exactly waifu material, but I mean, I'll get to them someday. <laughs> and the only thing we really get to learn is that she doesn't like some person named Ubisona or whatever, however you pronounce that name. But uh, you can tell this bitch definitely has some influence, though. Like, despite being spoiled, you know, being a spoiled little brat, I mean, she she definitely has got the money and the power to do stuff. So for that, I can kind of give her a little bit of respect, and that definitely adds a little bit of depth to her character. Like, so e even though you'd probably want to beat the shit out of her, like, it's gonna be kind of hard to do, kind of hard to do without you know suffering some pretty major consequences. So I mean, overall, that's actually kind of cool. Like, yeah, it's a little cliche, but I mean, hey, it's actually not too bad. Like, it, it gives, it definitely gives her a little bit of a character. Uh, there's not much to her personality, despite, despite what I've already said, her being a spoiled brat. But other than that, I mean, we don't even know how she treats people that are, like, I guess she would even consider her equal. Like, they don't mention that. But, uh, no, yeah, there, there's my little stance. This is totally, this is totally good character development. <laughs> Alright, so that's one down for the archive. Like what you saw, like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Thanks for watching. Night.